Hello everyone, Martin here, and welcome to a Linux software review video. In this video, we're looking at Shortwave, which is an internet radio player for Linux. It's really awesome because it lets you browse over, according to them, 25,000 stations. But now on this banner here, it says 30,000, so I think they've updated it uh, since uh, they did their description. So this is really neat. I have this on both my desktop PC and my Pine phone. So here's how it works. These are the most voted stations. So people like these stations the most, I guess, because they're being voted for the most. They're trending, and uh, there are other ones here too. Uh, it's really cool because you can search for things that you like. So for example, um, you might want KTU. I'm not in, where, where's KTU from? I don't know, is that New York? Yeah, New York. Um, I just like the station. It's pretty neat. Um, so you can see that it is KTU, and you have some options here. So you can play the station or add it to your library. If you click on Play Station, it'll just play the station, and uh, you know if you forget the name of it, you can't find it again. If you click Add to Library, they'll actually add it to the front page or the initial page when you open the software and it will stay there so you can access it uh, pretty easily. So it's pretty nice when you click on a station after searching for it or, or just exploring around, you'll get information about it. So for example, it knows that this is in English, here are the amount of votes, here's the country of origin, this is the codec, and this is the stream URL. So I'm gonna click on add to library for now. Now something else that I wanna point out that's pretty neat about this is you can actually create your own station. So if you want, if you're doing, um, if you're streaming, I guess, um, a kind of radio, I don't actually know how that works exactly, but if you're, if you're doing that where you're constantly streaming audio, you can actually make a public station. Now, if you're maybe doing it as a little test thing or maybe just for yourself, you can create it as a local station. And when you do that, you give it a name, da 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 da, and then you put in the stream URL. It's honestly really cool that it lets you do that. And not only lets you do that, but also share with other users if you want. So, okay. Um, once the station is added here, you can click on play, and I'm going to immediately pause it. Um, once it once it starts, but I just want to show you um, You know this shows up when you click on it and when you click play this is what it looks like You see how it spins loads it Okay, we're gonna stop that um, It's really cool. You can adjust the audio right here So for me, I have my audio configured weird to have everything very very low because otherwise it sounds really loud um, you can also show station details. So that's that screen we saw before where it just shows the information. And it also lets you stream this to a device. So I believe if you have um, a like, Chromecast device, a Google Cast. So if the device supports Google Cast, you can stream it to that device. And that is honestly really nice. Like this software is well made for sure. Another important feature to point out is that if you are using a radio station that provides metadata, that it'll be able to show off that metadata uh, as it plays. So let's say, for example, if you want to know what the song name is, if the station is providing that metadata, it will display the song name. Now, sometimes the station's a bit funky and it'll just appear as a bunch of like garbled text or or kind of like JSON values, sort of like, doesn't look quite right. Um, but when it does work, it shows the name plain and simple. Another cool thing is that when it detects that this changes, so for example, the name is gonna change when a new song comes on, at least that's the hope when you're using something like this, it'll actually save that song. So basically, what you can do is, oh, I heard that on the radio, and I really like that song, and like I don't want to go out hunting for it or whatever. This actually lets you download that song. So you could just save the song because it recorded it for you. Now, if you do nothing and close the software, it gets rid of it, so it's, you know, it, it's gone. But, you know, I don't know what the legality of that is, but 
you know, so I'm, I'm no lawyer here, so I'm not going to do it. You know, I'm just going to say it is an option. So if you want to do it, the button is right there. But again, not all radio stations support it because some radio stations don't show the song name. They just show like a link to their website or just other things that make it not function correctly. And that can mess with this feature. One thing that may annoy you is that it'll send a notification each time a new song plays. So if you're playing for a long time, this is going to get filled up pretty quick. I personally don't like this. So what I do is I go into Preferences and I turn the Notifications feature off. So it will no longer send you those notifications because why would you want it? Another interesting feature is enabling the mini player and it just makes it really small. Like I don't know, like this is kind of cool, it looks sort of like maybe like a wooden radio or something, but I don't know. It's, it's just a really weird feature, but I feel like I should, uh, I should mention it because it just doesn't look like G2K at all, you know? It's, it feels like a legacy feature almost. It should be mentioned that this project is possible because of radio-browser.info. So they're a website aiming to be like Wikipedia, but for radio stations. And they host an API, and Shortwave taps into that. As you can see, this is where it's getting all the information from, so the software works correctly. So big shout out to this service uh, for aggregating all these radio stations so Shortwave can work. This concludes my review of Shortwave. If you liked it, make sure to leave a like and drop a comment. What do you think of the video? What do you think of Shortwave? And will you be using it? All right, thank you for watching. Goodbye for now.